if there's a word problem on your GED math test that involves percents, it will be asking you to find one of three things out. Either to find the percent of a number, for example, what is 25% of 44, or to find what a number is when they give you a percent of a number. For example, 18 is 35% of what number? Or to find what percent one number is of another number. For example, 40 is what percent of 95? Now, the way to solve all three of these kinds of problems is basically the same. What you do is have an equation with two fractions, one on each side, and the denominator of this fraction will always be 100. Now, what you put in this numerator, this numerator, and this denominator will depend on what information they give you and what information you're trying to find out. So what you'll put in this one will be the percent if they're giving you the percent. What you'll put in this numerator is the part of the number value, not the percent, the number. And what you'll put in this denominator is the whole of the number value, not the percent. So you'll use this equation to solve all three of these types of word problems that involve percents. So what you do, let's let's use this to as an example to solve all three of these. You set up your equation with your hundred in this denominator and you look at what information they're giving you. So you're trying to find out what is twenty five percent of forty four. So they are giving you the percent. So you go ahead and put that in in this numerator and they're giving you 44. So what is 25% of 44? So you're trying to find the part of this whole. So they're giving you the whole. So you put in 44. You don't know the part. That's what you're trying to find out. So just put an X there. Now you need to solve for X. And the way to do that is by multiplying diagonally. Multiply the part by 100 and multiply the whole by the percent. So you multiply x by 100 and you multiply 44 by 25. So x times 100 is 100 x equals 44 times 25 is 1100. Now you want to know what x is. So you want to get x all by itself on one side of the equation. And the way to do that is to do the opposite operation to both sides. So it's 100x, x times 100. The opposite operation of multiplication is division. So you divide by 100 to both sides. So x equals 1100 divided by 100. x equals 11. So what is 25% of 44? 11 is 25% of 44. Okay, let's do this one. 18 is 35% of what number? Just like before, you set up the equation with 100 in the denominator, and you look at what information they're giving you. Again, they're giving us the percent, so you go ahead and put that in. 18 is what percent? Sorry, 18 is 35% of what number? So 18 is 35%. 18 is a part. It's a percentage. It's a part of what number? So they're giving us the part, so put that in there. And you need to find out what the whole is. So 18 times 100, 18 times 100 equals x times 35, 35x. Okay, 18 times 100 is 1800 equals 35x. And again, to get x by itself, you divide. So x equals 1800 divided by 35, which is 51.428. So we'll round up to 51.43. So 18 is 35% of 51.43. All right, finally, this one set up your equation just like before. 
look at what they're giving you. 40 is what percent of 95? They're asking what percent, so they're not giving it to us. They're giving us 40 is what percent, is what part. So 40 is the part of 95, which is the whole. So cross multiply. 40 times 100 equals 95 times x, 95x. 40 times 100, which is 4,000, equals 95x. So you want to get x by itself. Divide by 95. Divide by 95. x equals 4,000 divided by 95, which is 42.1 one one we'll say so 40 is what percent of 95 40 is 42.11 percent of 95 and that's how you do it